my people welcome to another episode of fantasy minutes and i am super excited for this one because it is the end of the month and as i had said at the very start of all of this every month i will be speaking to the person who's at the top of the fantasy minutes league and guess who it is this time his name is Douglas Reno with an incredible 229 points in just 3 weeks yeah yeah like and this is out of 369 people by the way do not ask why i am if you join the league that's the only way you'll find out so <laughs> join the league the code is below but yeah i just want to sit down with douglas and just yo pick his brain man so reno uh, douglas first of all congratulations like so so awesome thanks. that i don't know thanks. 229 points that's insane i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm top of your league deserve it you definitely definitely deserve it are you top in all of your leagues How many points did you score in the first wait, place? Wait, before we get there. <laughs> are you topping all of your leagues? I'm 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 topping most of them then others global leagues. There are those I mean top 1 I did. And then globally I'm um, top I think 7000 yeah. So That's let's look at your team. James, like how how did you have the foresight to pick him because were you you were certain he was going to start I just looked at the preseason and the how Lampard was talking about his players then as Bilicueta was injured as Bilicueta and Pulis they had joined the team I think 3 days before the, their first match so I knew James would start and I know he has some attacking potential and I was confident Chelsea were going to keep a clean sheet so I went for James and it was cheap you get a defender at 5 playing for a big team like Chelsea that's a bargain so I went for it everyone had Salah everyone had Aubameyang decision to go with Pereira that one was my biggest like many people are wondering how did you go for Pereira is from championship then West Brom they are a small team they are from championship you have not seen pereira playing i just went for pereira you look at his record he had 8 goals and 16 assists so you see is uh, his potential for creating so many chances is there a creative force so you you saw he scored a very nice free kick against everton Calvert Lewin, you jumped on that bandwagon at the very start. What made you think that he will be a good buy this season? Because for a lot of people, it was only after the first game that everyone rushed to buy him. But Lewin has been my best player in fantasy Premier League, like last season when he started scoring so many goals. I had him, but after the restart, he didn't score any goal. He had no attacking return. But lucky enough, I didn't have him that time. So I just knew this guy is so cheap. Everton they are a good team. They have bought some good players, James Rodriguez, Alan and now Alan and Dokora they are playing behind James. So James has all the kind of freedom. And so and he is a very creative player. So I went I made a dilemma between Calvert-Lewin and this other striker Richarlison. But Richarlison was a little expensive. more expensive. Mm. Yeah. So I just decided to go for Calvert Lewin. So why don't you tell me the players that are on your watch list that you're looking out for that you are thinking of including in your team in the coming weeks? The the, the goalkeeper in my watch list, I have the Aston Villa goalkeeper. You see Aston Villa they have kept two clean sheets. Yeah. And Martinez just saved a penalty the other day. He's a good goalkeeper. He he makes some good saves. I watched him when he was playing for Arsenal after Bernard Leno was injured. I saw he's a good goalkeeper. He's a goalkeeper of a high standard. This month, Wolves are the team with the best fixtures. So if you want a goalkeeper who is going to keep some clean sheets for you, you might go for Rui Patricio. Although he's a bit, he's a little expensive. Who are the defenders that um, are on your watch list? This Burnley defender, Charlie Taylor. I am expecting to see Burnley keeping some clean sheets, like they were doing last season. See, last season they were they were very solid team. They were conceding fewer goals, unless when they faced a bigger team like Manchester City. 
So I'm expecting to see them keep clean sheets and I will get Charlie Taylor in my team if they would be keeping those clean sheets. Watching Nelson Samendo. Samendo has come into a good Wolves team and is attacking potential. So I think he's going to get some goals and some assists for Raul Jimenez. Next up in midfield. I think in midfield you may look at Ave Burns or James Madison for Leicester City. I think Leicester City without now after they just sold Ben Chilwell that they would be a weaker team but now you can see they are just strong as they have been. Let me know who you'd advise for this coming month for people to get onto their teams as their forwards. Raul Jimenez. I think Jimenez is a good player and you look at his pictures. I think he's the man to watch this coming month. Yeah. And he's a little cheaper compared to other players like Arikin. Tell me about your differentials. For me, I've decided to go with Havertz. I know he's expensive. He's at 8.4. But I've put him in my team and I've decided to have faith in him and see how he does the next few game weeks. I think I'm also playing with my heart because I just feel like he'll do really well at Chelsea because he's the most creative player so far. And even in the previous game, he seemed really upbeat once he scored the hat trick. Seems like he's gotten his confidence and no one else has trusted him. Um, so he's my differential. Who would you advise people to get as their differentials? Madison is a differential because for now Madison's ownership is very low and you see now he has recovered from injury, he has come the other day, he has got a goal and an assist. I was even wondering how is he coming for 20 minutes, he's getting a goal and an assist. I have De Bruyne as my captain, he's not getting even an assist. Now you see he's a good player, he's a good differential. Yeah. I've just, I've just decided to go for Avi Burns. He's been playing really well. He takes a lot of shots outside the box and he seems to be in the middle of all of Leicester City's attacking play. I just expect him to improve. How but much is Avi Burns? 7.0. Okay, 7.0. Not bad. Um, My but Grealish is also... Grealish or Burns actually. Grealish or Burns. Because he does the yeah, same price point. Grealish is a good option. With, with the new players they have signed, you see they have just signed Ross Barkley. Yeah. And they have they have a very good striker, the guy they took from Brentford. For those people who are not doing as well as they'd hoped, why don't you give them some tips on how they should handle their team moving forward? You should just plan ahead. You know, fantasy is a game. It, it's not as a game of a single game week. If you flop a single game week, that does not mean you have flopped for the whole season. And it does not mean that you just lose faith with all your team, like you rush playing your wild card. Just give your players a chance. For example, you got Phil Foden in your team last game week, then he just blanked, he disappointed you. That does not mean he's a, he's a poor fantasy option. Just You should just be loyal to him. At least you give him some more game weeks. You give him two or three game weeks. Then he'll, he'll just fulfill, give you attacking returns. I think Son is a perfect example of that. Uh, apparently yeah. 500,000 people transferred him out of their teams after game week one and then he goes and scores four goals. <laughs> 24 points. Yep. So, what what other advice can you give people? I think you should you should not rush with your transfers, and then you should just you you just cannot have ever everyone else in my, in your team. You just need to stick with a few guys. You don't have to take those point eights, those negatives. You you get you get a player for negative four. Then if it's a striker, he must score to get your negative four back. You know if. A striker scores, that's four points. So if you took negative four for a striker, and he has just scored a single goal, you know it's just a zero sum. 
Sawa, yeah. sawa. Um, thank you so much for doing this, Douglas. Let's wait and see now for month two because it starts all over again. We're starting this from scratch, so we need to see who will be the top of the month of October alone. I'm not gonna take account September. It's just gonna be it's just gonna start in October. So you have to be consistent if you want us to have this conversation yeah, again. It's me again. Maybe it's me again. <laughs> there you have it such an insightful conversation with douglas if you enjoyed it and found some of his tips helpful like this video and if you know someone who's really struggling and needs the advice on this video share it and finally if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and all the best in this coming fantasy month join my fantasy minutes league the code is at the bottom Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.